the blessings behind delays. People always get so frustrated when things don't go their way during the time in which they believe is meant for them. Now looking back, I think about just how much those delays were a blessing because the headspace that I'm in now, there's no way I would have been ready then. And that questioning will always be there, like, well, why? I want it so badly. Like, I feel like I'm ready now. But there's beauty and patience to some degree, even if it feels like it's so hard to be patient in that moment when you want something. But the journey, to your point, trusting the process is part of it. And that's what's so fascinating is like getting to where you want to get to. Waiting is just preparing you more and more for it. You'll always be challenged or face difficulty by trying to force something you believe is right for you or in that moment makes sense for you. And if it's not, and again, all odds are against you, don't force it. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Dima Podcast. It's Neela. And it is Adis. What's up, family? I want to talk about the blessings behind delays because people always get so frustrated when things don't go their way during the time in which they believe is meant for them. And for so long, I always assumed that for certain things in my life, I was ready and now was the time. And why wasn't it happening? Or why not now? And there were so many delays or just like conflict between me trying to do something or get somewhere. And now fast forward to where I'm at in my life now, looking back, I think about just how much those delays were a blessing because the headspace that I'm in now, there's no way I would have been ready then. You think you are, but when life moves forward and you're older and you look at life, you know, your perspective has changed. You think about how much less mature you'd be had those things happen at the time they did. And for me, it's always been like a I'm a, I'm a control freak and I'm a perfectionist and I like things done my way <laughs> during my time. And it's healthy. It's not like in a very negative, toxic way. But when I want something, I like to get it done. I like to, you know, have it with me in that moment. I don't even like to order online, like clothes, because I'm like, I need to go buy it in the store, you know, take it home with me. Um, and that was a hard adjustment for me to like accept the fact that things were delayed or why weren't they happening for me. But now that I've shifted my perspective a little bit on like, how much God knew better in terms of timing, it's so much more like relieving that those things didn't happen when I thought they should. Have you seen that uh, there's this TikTok trend that uh, girls and guys post where it says they're talking to God and they're like, hey, God, um, please remove anything in my life that uh, is not meant for me. And then within an, a second, God removes it. And you're just like, all right, well, that was quick. You know what I mean? It's the same thing when it comes to like, um, things that you want so desperately in the moment, but don't receive. It's like that, que that, that questioning will always be there. Like, well, why I want it so badly. Like, I feel like I'm ready now, but I think like you said, I, I think there's always this bigger idea of what God has in store, store for us. And, um, like why it's important to trust the process a little bit more for me. Like I, I want it right there in that same instant that like, you know, I, I conceive the idea of wanting whatever I want. But again, I'm, I'm so blessed to know that like sometimes I might just not know what's best for me in those moments, right? And a lot of failure, I think, does come from rushing things sometimes. And whether or not you look at it as failure, even if you think about things that didn't work out or didn't go as planned, a lot of it can do with just the timing of it not being meant for us. And if you're a spiritual person similar to myself, I do believe in trust in God's timing. And in fact, I've become more confident in the fact of like when things happen, when they're supposed to happen, whether, you know, I'm prepared for it or not, I'll handle it then because God's timing knows that I'm ready. Right. And like four years ago, I thought I wanted all these things. And I, I was like, why aren't these things happening for me? And like, now that I look back, I'm like, oh my God, had they happened, I would have been so stressed about handling it. I have n nowhere near the confidence I do today and in, in how I would have handled those things had it happened then. Right. And there's beauty and patience to some degree, even if it feels like it's so hard to be patient in that moment when you want something. But the journey, to your point, trusting the process is part of it. And that's what's so fascinating is like getting to where you want to get to. Waiting is just preparing you more and more for it. So you'll be even more ready when it happens, right? It just feels like we want things naturally. It's just a human instinct to fruition when we want it to. But 
it doesn't mean it won't. It just means it's not the right time. But it's hard to like uh, understand like when the right time is. I think that's why you want it like right then and there. You're just like, oh, I'm ready. Nobody, I don't think, is like, I'm not ready for this when you want something, right? Like, it's like, I want it. So let me let me get it now, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's an opportunity for something that you've been dreaming for your whole life, when you feel like it's within arm's length or it's with it's tangible to an extent where you can possibly get in that moment. But like a lot of us are irrational when it comes to certain decisions. Like you want it now, right? You want to make that decision right now, especially like for me, when it comes to like my spending habits and stuff like that, like a lot of things that I want, I'm just like, I'm just going to get it now. Even though, even if I might not be capable of, you know, um, sustaining it or like, okay, I want this nice car. Am I able, does my salary reflect this nice car right now? I know eventually I'll get to a point where it's easy, right? But like, is it the best idea right now? And more often than not, I make the wrong decisions uh, at those times. But again, when it comes to like the bigger stuff, like whether it's a, a job opportunity or it's something that, you know, you and I are striving for and we think we're ready right now. I remember in episode one of the podcast, I remember feeling like we were ready to get Barack Obama on the oh, podcast. Dude, we thought we were ready episode five, yeah. you know, like episode one, two, three, we were like ready to go, whatever, we're ready to conquer. And now that I look back, I'm like, oh, my God, we would have not been prepared, like, at all, right? And maybe we would have also. He walks in on the first episode, <laughs> camera angles doing a – Camera is pointing at the corner of the room. Yeah. Terrible. Lighting's off. The audio goes out. I mean, there's just a lot of beauty behind delay. And, you know, personally, like, five years ago, I – no, I'm so sorry. Not five years ago. I think it was almost two, three years ago. I wanted to make a really insane purchase. Remember, like I, I wanted to get it. And that was this like dream that I, of mine. And it would have like been obviously an amazing thing, but it didn't work out. And all the, all the, everything was aligning, except there was always like one little thing. Like it was one, maybe like hiccup or like one pushback or things like that and so I just was so frustrated because I was like I've been wanting it was a car and I was I remember like I went and I got approvals and all these things it was a very very expensive car and I was looking at a very very expensive car payment that I at the time thought I could handle and you know what could have handled but it just wasn't in my favor it wasn't happening all odds were against me I was getting something here but something wasn't working out there all these things and six months later I got laid off from my job and, you know, had to shift my whole life and transition into something else. And, you know, I just I just thank God for that because I would have been so much more stressed, way less stressed in the fact that it wasn't working out. You know, I'm sorry, way more stressed in the fact that it wasn't working out. But had that happened to me and I had the car and I didn't know how to pay for it because I now lost my job. So the way that the the timing works or it's delayed doesn't mean that it won't happen for me in the future. It just means that I'll eventually get to a place where maybe I am much more in position to be able to make that decision and it works out because it's the right time. So it's just, it's funny how the world works in the, in the moment we're upset and we're frustrated and it's not working out in our favor, but it's always for the right reasons. Have you ever like felt when you're like prying something open, uh, you know, metaphorically speaking, or you're trying really hard and things aren't going your way, but you're forcing things whenever you're forcing things, the outcome on the other side doesn't seem to be good. I've noticed that even with like friendships, relationships, if you force a relationship or you force a friendship that just isn't working and you're doing everything in your power to make it work, the the end product after all of that, you know, pushing and prying and trying to figure it out, it's just not good. I actually saw a TikTok uh, on this recently, which was really wonderful. I think you also liked it because I reposted it. And it just said, if you're forcing things that are not meant for you, it will not be peaceful. It's just not going to be a peaceful experience. You will always be challenged or face difficulty by trying to force something you believe is right for you or in that moment makes sense for you. And if it's not, and again, all odds are against you, don't force it. Allow it to naturally come. And that's the same reason so many amazing things have also happened to me when they did. And when things aren't meant for you, it happens quick. You blink and you don't even know how it happened. When I bought my home, I don't even remember the process. That's how fast it happened. And that's an insane like investment to do at such a young age that I did. And again, this was during uncertain times, right? COVID had just hit. The market dropped. Everything was just going, like, going bad. But it was meant for me 
the timing, right? There was no delay in it. It happened so easily. Something that you would think is so complicated, the process of buying a home, it happened so easily because it was just the right time and God's timing. And I, whether you're spiritual or not, it's just trusting whether whatever it's in the universe. It's like allowing things to naturally fruition again without, you know, being blinded by the idea of, okay, if it's meant to be, it'll happen and not putting in effort because you have to, but not forcing things to your point. Yeah, and I think a lot of us, like, when again, when we want something to happen so badly, forcing it is like a byproduct of that because you want it so much. It's like sometimes you you won't even be in the, the, the conscious state of mind, like, am I forcing this? Because, like, you, you want that thing so desperately, right? You want it to work, and then it's just not. And I feel like when you let life kind of go its course and you let things kind of flow, you know, th- good things happen. Yeah. Like in, in, it's unbeknownst to you also, both ways. Like either it's going to be burning down all around you because you're trying to force something that's just not meant to be, or you let things flow. And when it comes, it comes type deal. I I do think though, you need to take the bull by the reins in certain aspects of life, right? Like you genuinely need to apply yourself. We've talked about that before and try and work hard and, and uh, give, give effort. But again, I feel like we kind of know when things are just not right in that moment, but like are very, um, our ego or whatever in that moment will kind of overturn those ideas in our in our brains Mm -hmm. you know my my brain is mush today bro i don't i can't even even think but it's like this is such a easy topic that we've i think about all the time like when especially like right now i'm like forcing certain situations to go my way and and, you know and it's just not really working out like i'm just losing (laughs) Aura by the second, and it's like I get it though. Like I feel like things should just happen naturally, and I should trust in this higher, uh, you know, I should trust in God and make me like you know come out the other side unscathed a little bit, right? Yeah, and you're things human. Are flowing. You're human, and and I think what what we need to do, what people need to do, is focus less on the fact that it's delayed, but focus more on the fact that it will happen when it's supposed to happen and if it's supposed to happen and if it's supposed to happen and also not correlating delay with a negative thing because for me it's like delay does not mean rejection it just means it's not yet right i feel like you have to understand if you get into a state of mind in which okay not now but in time it has everything to do with even your verbiage how you're speaking it instead of saying if say when if this will happen for me not when it will happen for me right it's very easy to just speak things into existence by maturing your mind into thinking like okay just because it's not happening right now does not mean it won't happen for me five four years ago I thought I wanted to get married and I wanted to have kids I was obsessed with the idea of it oh my god I was not ready thank god I didn't I was not ready oh my god now looking back I'm like had I that happened to me now I would have not been prepared now granted you just fall into those things and it works out but now you know I'm in a complete different mentality in which I feel like I can welcome that into my life more because I'm I feel more prepared. And again, that has everything to do with just the timing of things and when they're meant to happen. You have to grace yourself through it and not allow delays to be a negative thing. But exactly that. They're a blessing. There's like this quote also that I've I've saw in like many, you know, those pictures that are aesthetic and then it has like the a quote. It says something along the lines of like, if something is meant for you and it's like beyond mountains. Have you seen that quote? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. It'll come, but if something is like right in front of you and it's not meant for you, it'll never come. Yeah. I, I know I butchered that, but like no. I, I believe in that a it lot. Is. It is. Like it'll, if it's meant for you, it'll find you no matter what. Like it'll move mountains, right? And I know exactly what quote you're talking about. But to your point, if it's not meant for you, it could be staring you in the face. It could be with you every day. You can literally be with it and it's just not going. It's Everybody's not looking at their partners like this. And it just it could be your job. It could be your friend. It could be, it doesn't just have to be that. Yeah, no, I get it. Like even business, you and I are business, you know, uh, partners and there's so much we want to pursue and we've been working on my business for God knows how long, yeah. you know? And like, I keep thinking I'm ready and you're just the other day, you're like, well, the infrastructure is there, but it's like the infrastructure is there, but for some reason we can't get ourselves to the next step. Why is that? It's not that it's like us, there's just delays here and there, right? Where we want it to work, but it's like timing. And that, that what we talked about the other day too, when it came to like a personal venture of yours as well within your business and stuff and how you were kind of thinking about like, you know, you're questioning some things and like questioning the way you're going to go about it. And then you got just this like nod from the universe where it's like, Hey brother, that was, it'll happen. That was sick. Yeah, that was sick. Wait, that was actually, yeah, that was sick. (laughs) Yeah. But also it's like the timing of it, right? You're kind of confused. You're like, 
mm-hmm. okay, I'm, I'm putting all this work in day in and day out. I'm trying to figure it out. And it, this is when it should have happened, right? Like this is when my business should have took that right turn and then met with, you know, all the preparation, the hard work, but then it took a little longer. You and I have started this four years ago, this specific thing. I remember the day you came into my house and we talked about it. It's been four and a half years and it's like, we're still just getting it going. But I really believe that everything is going to happen when it's supposed to happen. There is no such thing as delay for no reason. I just believe it's going to happen when it's meant to happen. And if you have that mentality, it does help move forward in terms of what you want, just, again, within God's time. Couldn't have said it better, Niels. If you believe in God. <laughs> whatever you, whatever you believe in. You should. It it's, helps. It's helpful. <laughs> Where can they find us, Niels? YouTube.com slash the Duma podcast. TDP? We out. We out.